Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vaga Maradian. Part of our team this week traveled to Nashville, Tennessee to cover the Army Aviation Association of America's annual conference and trade show, where our coverage is sponsored by Leonardo DRS. While there, we caught up with Keith Flail, Vice President of Advanced Tilt Rotor Systems at Bell, a Textron company which also sponsors our weekly defense and aerospace business report podcast. We asked them about the company's goals at Quad A, the V-247 Vigilant Unmanned Tilt Rotor Aircraft, and the Army's Future Vertical Lift Capability Set 3 effort. This year at uh, 2018 uh, Quad A, what we're doing is we're showing our continued progress on the V-280 and how the V-280 serves as this technology pipeline for the V-247, our unmanned aerial system. We also have up on the Jumbotron all of our flight videos showing all the things that we've done since first flight in December as we continue to expand the envelope, picking up speed and altitude and range, showing all the things that we said that we were going to do and following through and providing that proof to our customer that they can move out faster because we know what this aircraft can do, to set the requirements and move out with the, uh, the acquisition process. What we have accomplished under this joint multi-role effort that we're still executing right now is a perfect example of acquisition reform. Now that we've done this, we've burned down the risk, we've informed the requirements, we have tons of data in terms of what this aircraft can do from both a performance standpoint to provide an affordable and sustainable solution for our warfighters much earlier than is currently planned to give them that leap in capability and get some of that overmatch back that's been eroded over the last several years with our uh, adversaries. So because we now, we, we are expanding the envelope, we're bringing the proof, we're showing what the aircraft can do, we as an industry and government team have a great opportunity to take credit for what we've done and hold that up as a huge success story with Congress and everyone else to get on with uh, capability set three for future vertical lifts. But what we've seen in, in our journey together with the Army as our partners for the last six years on this effort for joint multi-role, we've reduced risk and we've informed requirements on capability set three. So at this point, spending those six years together working on this, hundreds of millions of dollars collectively to get to where we are right now so we can enter deeper into the acquisition cycle. Obviously those decision, decisions are the Army's in terms of what they do, but for capability set three, you have this warm start, you have all of this data, all of this proof, you're ready to go and bring capability to warfighters much earlier than is currently planned. So now we are in full envelope expansion with the aircraft, executing flight tests, very exciting, picking up speed, uh, picking up maneuverability uh, on the aircraft, uh, about 19 hours of uh, flight hours at this point, um, several more hours of, of rotor turn, uh, up to 140 knots of airspeed is what we're flying at, and uh, very exciting that we're now having to chase this V-280 Valor with a jet. So accentuating the speed, and we're only up to 140 knots and a long way to go in the envelope expansion, but it's going incredibly well. So being here at, at Quad A, you can see all the customers behind me here, uh, a lot of buzz uh, about what we're doing within the joint multi-role effort that this is supporting and how it's informing the requirements and reducing risk for future vertical lifts. So we're also working on the V-247 Vigilant as our offering for the MUX program, the Marine Air Ground Task Force Unmanned Expeditionary Program. So we have just uh, received the request for information from the Marine Corps in March. We're putting together that response. I just read the latest version of it. It's exceptional, laying out all the things that we can do with the V-247. Uh, it's literally the Swiss Army knife for all the capability gaps that the Marine Corps has laid out. Things ranging from intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance to precision strike to cargo replenishment. Having all that in one platform and using this, the V-280, as the technology pipeline for that next cycle of learning for V-247. So we're positioned, we're ready, we're making the internal investments to continue to advance the design and looking to uh, get that program accelerated with additional um, U.S. government uh, resources for the, the MUX program. In closing, I'd just like to say how exciting a time it is at Bell with everything that we're doing, finding a better way with what we're doing here with uh, the V-280 Valor in support of the uh, joint multi-role effort and informing those requirements and reducing risk for future vertical lift. Again, allowing us to take a huge leap into this acquisition process to get capability to our warfighters much faster as the Chief of Staff of the Army has laid out all of his priorities. This one is ready to go.